Let's talk about relationships, bad breakups. Let's talk about a woman being scorned. Let's talk about the evil tricks and the evil things that women do to try to make you pay for leaving them, to try to make you pay for moving on from them. Women will stoop to very low heights to try to convince other people that you are the villain in the relationship. You got to make sure that you understand, bro. Today we're going to talk about Amarion. Amarion is a good example of how men should behave when he deals with the bitch. He's got to charge. When a bitch is out of pocket, you got to charge her ass. You got to let her go. Do me a favor. Make sure you guys like the video, share the video. This is Masculinity Unlocked, bro. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to another episode of Masculinity Unlocked. I'm your host, AV, a.k.a. Alpha Villains. Today we're going to talk about Amarion and his former wife, April Jones. Amarion is really behaving in a way where most men should behave. Now, it takes a long time. It takes a certain level of discipline. It takes a certain level of knowledge of self to be able to Maneuver and move in the way despite the hurdles and the real shit that could happen to any one of us, bro. It's always going to be his side and her side, okay? You remember the scandal? Amarion got with April Jones. He was on Love and Hip Hop. Amarion is a former star of B2K, a former boy band with Fizz. Fizz is, was also on Love and Hip Hop. Then Fizz and April Jones, Amarion's former friend, got together. And everyone was wondering and bashing April Jones and bashing Fizz for getting together with Amarion's baby moms. But Amarion always kept his head high. He always kept focus. He always made sure that he understood and reminded everybody in the world that life goes on. The most important thing in their life was the children that they shared. Amarion didn't let that nonsense of April Jones getting fucking revenge to derail him from his focus. And this is something that's very important for all of us to try to remind ourselves and master. You can't let the things that you can't control control what you need to do. We've all been there, but as you get older, as you understand the complexity and the severity of the things that you do or if you don't do, the consequences of not doing what you're supposed to do because something in your personal life has affected that, you're going to be in a bad position. So now Marion is doing tours, he's promoting new things, and he has always remained stoic. He's always remained positive about his future. It's very important when you're in a relationship, even if you're a public figure, to keep your relationship and the things that you're going on that goes on in your life personally um, as quiet as possible, bro. Because when somebody sees a chink in your arm, whether it's your relationship, whether it's your, your finances, your health, people use that to their advantage, especially if you're on the microphone, especially if you're a public figure. But now we got April Jones trying to come out here to say that she wants her side of the story. We saw what you did, April Jones, when you got with Fizz. Uh, No matter how much of an asshole Amarion, you claim Amarion was, it wasn't right. What kind of clash do you have? Now it takes two to tango. Fizz wasn't wasn't innocent either. (laughs) And I remember him and Jay Bug went on drink champs and shit, and he tried to justify his behavior because him and Amarion aren't, aren't friends and shit. It is what it is. At the end of the day, as you get older, fellas, you got to understand, man, that pussy ain't shit, bro. It's all about who's attached to the pussy. 
And women can destroy kingdoms. Women can create war. And as soon as you take the power away from the woman, you can avoid shit like this. You can avoid doing some dumb shit for a bitch. But watch what April Will, April Jones says about her side of the story. Let's go. Y'all got it confused. Y'all be sitting here looking at people. People like, well, this is his, and he's a great person. You don't fucking know that person. You ain't fuck him. You ain't sleep. You ain't like stop. If a man or a woman does not want to be exposed, then start being good to the people that you are with. Why would you think that a person that you treated like very important? Did you guys hear what she said? If men and women don't want to be exposed. Start being good to the people that you're with. This is so, so important. No matter how many years you have, no matter how many bonds you've created, these two have two children together. Whatever happened behind closed doors, and again, I'm not on Omarion's side because I don't know what the fuck he did to her. But we know what we saw her do to him. A woman will never want you to be happy unless it's with her, bro. If she's not with you, she doesn't want you to be happy. She'll fuck your friends. She'll befriend your friends to try to get intel on your stupid ass. <laughs> so April Jones not only fucked Omarion's former friend, former bandmate, she did a couple of seasons with him on Love and Hip Hop. While Omarion continues to stay focused. This is why it's so important. As soon as you don't give a woman the satisfaction to see that she's broken you, you're going to be in a really good position, okay? You don't respond to negativity. You don't respond to people who are going to talk shit about you, who are going to do you wrong. That's just part of life. There's going to be some unavoidable shit, but you don't give them these people power, bro. Like utter shit is supposed to protect you, but that is what we do. I refuse to do it anymore. I am 36, I'm about to turn 37, and I won't do it anymore. If you're a piece of shit, you are definitely a piece of shit. And I won't sit here and try to cover and let me in a room and put me on the interview, Jason Lee. I hope you guys put that on. Put me in an interview room and say, hey, how do you- Okay, let's talk about this. This bitch is still trying to set cover up and give her side of the story of the shit that she did to Omarion. Now she's crying for help. She wants to be on a platform. She's calling all bloggers to interview her so we can get more um, of the shit that happened years ago. Okay, so now she wants Jason Lee to put him on there because recently Omarion did an interview with Jason Lee on Hollywood Unlocked. This is extremely important for us to understand. People change all the time. And sometimes you get to see when you're not with somebody, you get to see the real them. Sometimes women wear a mask and they're so tired of keeping that mask on. It's the, the, their true self start to reveal themselves towards you. If you know what you're looking for, you have discernment. You see the patterns change. You get to see what the woman really is. You can make decisions or you won't be as surprised to see a woman switch up like this. How do you feel how do you feel give it a fair shot give it a fair shot because it hasn't been fair to me to hear my name come y'all got it confused y'all be sitting here looking at people like well this is constantly over and over and over and over again i haven't been able to tell my side i have literally shut the fuck up i have taken care of my kids i have been quiet but y'all got me you have got me. Supposed to take me your kids. Call me what you want to call me. Homie, hopper, sex addict. I'll, I'll take it. Don't really give a f Don't care. But I bet you won't put me in the same room. And that's what I'm talking about. Is This is the year of a Yo, you guys heard what she said? Call me homie addict. Call me sex addict. I really don't care. You guys remember the Love and Hip Hop episode and shit? You know, she was always talking about that Amari wasn't fucking her enough. <laughs> I think women's hormones spike up. It really depends when they're pregnant. So she wanted to get fucked. But Amari wasn't banging around as much as she wanted to. So this is very important. Marion was younger back then. She doesn't care if you call her homie addict or 
sex addict. So that those are two red flags right there. Yeah, she's a very attractive woman, but Omarion decided to put two babies in this bitch. You got to be very careful on who you decide to commit to. You got to be very careful on who you decide to be careless with. What I mean by careless is not wearing a condom, coming inside the bitch, giving the bitch access to too many things, letting her know about your hustles, letting her know where the money's at. In case you need bail money. Uh, Shit, it's it's exhausting, bro. How do you live your life like that, AV, man? I think about the consequences of trusting people too much. I think about the consequences and the mistakes, things that I've done in the past that kind of bit me in the ass. Yeah, at least I get to sleep, but I sleep with one eye open, but at least I get to sleep. I'll sleep with one eye open on everybody. You got to be real careful. So now this bitch wants to get her side of the story out there. Maybe it's for clout. Who knows? Accountability. This is the year of facts. This is a year of not victimization. And this is the year of throwing out narcissists. If you are going to protect one, protect the other. Women have got to be protected. Y'all over here protecting these men who are pretty much pretty. mm, Not all. Not all. See, I just I'm a, mm, full of shit. but women. This bitch had the nerve to say it's time to start protecting women. This is a woman's world, man. Now it's easy for us to say that men dropped the ball, which we did. Don't get it twisted. But when you have the system, the powers that be controlling everything, spinning a narrative empowering fools, empowering embarrassments. It's hard to get your message across for things that we all know are wrong, but because those are the ones that are getting paid. Those are the ones that we're tuned to tuned into. Those are the ones that are constantly being fed to us. It's very difficult to even sometimes question what's real and what isn't. So now you got this bitch wanting to for wanting everybody to forget what she did there was no loyalty to her now again he committed to the bitch i think he married her too i think he married her and he had her baby the kids bitch this is an attractive woman bro she could have went for any nigga man why would she go to fizz she went to fizz because women are heartless (laughs) women are extremely cold-hearted they're ruthless man and if you allow a woman she can really destroy you this is why you got to silo bitches. Even your main bitch, you got to, you know I mean, when she's, when she's, you know what I mean? You got to make sure you protect yourself because a woman can be very vindictive, very spiteful, and really try to fuck your whole world up because she doesn't want you to be happy without her. Have got, had to have endured. And I've been one of those multiple, constantly over and over. Multiple times, y'all see me with certain people, y'all like, ooh, fuck that. I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't what it appears. I'm going to be honest with you. It is not what it seems like. I'm going to tell you the truth. People are walking around lying and deceiving and manipulating and egotistical. Stop with And it gets to a point when a bitch gets tired I have not said a word. I have been tired. I have been quiet. But you want this work. I'm going to give it to you. If you want to hold the other side accountable. Any interviewers. Any blogs. I am here. I stand tall. I stand firm. Give me an opportunity to speak my motherfucking truth. And put that other person across from me. To say. Yo, April Jones, bro. Newsflash. April Jones, nobody gives a fuck about your side, bro. Tay Diggs just left your ass. You emasculated his stupid ass. And you're crying. Amarion is unbothered. And you're crying. You want to be heard. This is very important for you to understand. You cannot allow a woman to dictate how you feel especially after it's been over you're never gonna win over the family you're always gonna be the villain don't fucking matter they say not to meet your 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 heroes but sometimes you got to meet the villain because the villain at least keeps it real within himself 
This bitch is crying now. Now she wants, she's calling all the blogs so she can get her side of the story. What are we going to do? Content creators are going to listen to this shit. They're going to do shows for this. <laughs> you guys are going to super chat people for this shit. Because it's nonsense, bro. It's nonsense. At the end of the day, whatever a woman decides to do, you have to be unbothered. Now, if it's your wifey, baby moms and shit, sure, shit stings. Don't get it twisted. But at the end of the day, when in public, when outside, when you are most vulnerable, you have to hold your head up high, my niggas. Hold your head up fucking high, chest out, head up high, bro. Don't let some thought make you feel some type of way. You pray to the most high, you continue to grind. Whenever you do have your kids, you make sure you put your kids on game. He is, and I bet you, what they're saying in that room will not be what it will be multiple times. Y'all see me with certain people when I'm sitting in front of them. And that's what y'all need to do. A good blogger, a good interviewer, a good, all of it. Work, do the job, interview proper. Do it proper. Stupid bitch. Give it to the both sides. That's all I'm saying. Give it to the both sides. Give it to the both sides, man. Stop giving it to one side and giving it to the world. Y'all can destroy a person like that. Give it to both sides. But a person will never sit in a room with a person who's real. Let's see when I'm sitting in front of them. And that's what you This date in April. Mm -hmm. You get betrayed in public. Mm -hmm. and still give people grace yeah. and you might be dancing on marion singing on mar you from inglewood <laughs> so you know what that means right i don't know what it is i'm gonna let you tell me but okay. what is that where you did not come unhinged that we all reap what we sow you know what i mean and whatever energy and whatever we're in intent that we create you know especially if it's a negative one you're gonna get it back tenfold pain hit different when you gotta sit in it you know what i'm saying and i felt that one april's with tay diggs and then your kid mega is on instagram uh, i see a live and mega is talking real grown with his mom oh my goodness and you know what i said omarion is somewhere <laughs> Celebrating nah. the, them texts that he sent her, telling her to stop letting my kids get on social media. Because yeah. sometimes hindsight is the greatest teacher. Because yeah. the thing y'all were fighting for the most was the thing that would have. Hindsight is the greatest teacher. Shout out to Jason Lee. But yo, this is real shit, bro. You got to make sure that you understand this bitch wants her side of the story to be put out there. Nobody cares about your side of the story. Amarion said something very important. Karma, what goes around comes around, right? Sometimes your best won't be good enough. Sometimes you can live a righteous life and bad things still happen to you. What can you do about that? Not much. You can't do whatever's supposed to happen is going to happen. But if you decide to continue to focus on the things that you can control, your mindset, your health, how you earn money, what you decide to ingest, what you decide to consume, people you decide to hang around. If you control the controllables, you're in a better position. Women are going to do shit, foul shit to you because of their spiteful nature, their evil nature, their cold-hearted nature. One minute they love you, one minute they hate you. At the end of the day, taking your time, focusing on the things that mean the most to you, will not only help minimize the negative karma that may come back to you, but it'll also put you in a position to avoid women like this, to avoid people who want to see you miserable because they're miserable. Do me a favor. Make sure you guys like the video and share the video. Let everybody know that masculinity unlocked was on. Peace.
Oh, 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 oh,